Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just going to change this heating element on this hot water cylinder. So our fuse has been removed and safe isolation needs to take place. So we need to ensure that the power is off to this unit and that we have the right heating element. Okay, so we have done safe isolation. I'm going to isolate the incoming. Pressure reducing valve is set to 3.5 bar. Sorry, to 3 bar. Pressure reducing valve is set to 3 bar. Here's the PRV. in here and then we're going to use this drain point here we have another drain point over here which looks a bit more new and we're going to now shut off our hot water drawer off ideally when you're shutting off these valves you wouldn't be as gentle as you can you don't want to have mad rushes of pressure Okay, the difference with this um, cylinder that we have is that in a domestic place, you probably wouldn't have a secondary return pipe. On this supply though, we have got a secondary return pipe going in. So we're going to isolate that. It comes along here and then it goes in, in here and it also links up with other cylinders as well. So we're gonna isolate, gonna turn the power off to our secondary return. So our pump is off now, our secondary return pump is off. I'm gonna valve off. Okay, so I'm using this drain next to the expansion vessel as opposed to this one because um, it's easy access and it also it looks like it's in better condition. So I'm gonna drain it down. Um, whilst it's draining down, I'm gonna break the connection on the um, heating element because it's better whilst there's water in the system to just um, give it a slight crack um, in opening it as opposed to um, waiting when it's out. Yeah, I've got that in the drain now and we have some um, good pressure on there. Okay, I have to cancel this mission because just as I thought they've done the valves in a strange way so I cannot do one cylinder at a time I have to drain the whole thing down in order to so as you see because this is got this is going into here and I have basically my return my return is going into each cylinder and then unless I shut off my hot water drawer off I'm gonna be getting a mixture I still have a lot of water in the system despite it draining for a good 10 minutes or more between the returns I have a link into each cylinder which is which basically means that I can't I can't I can't um, drain down the units individually I have to do it all in one go okay thank you for joining me until next time bye bye bye